The journey to performance measurement maturity has 10 critical milestones. To find out which one your organization might currently be at, let me guide you through an assessment so you can calculate your performance measurement maturity score. I guess there's a better first question to ask really than what level is your organization's performance measurement maturity at? And it's this, why do you wanna know? Now I can think of three reasons. Firstly, if we're going to put effort and resources into measuring performance, surely we need to be aware that we're doing it well enough. Secondly, if our performance measures aren't working out for us the way that we want, it's really good to understand why and what the best thing is to do next to fix it. And thirdly, if we are serious about measuring our performance to improve it, then it's a natural extension to measure our measurement so that it can improve too. A bonus reason I just thought of actually is that it's sometimes just fun to gamify things. Now, if one of these reasons resonates with you, then stick with me for a few more minutes and together we can find out your organization's performance measurement maturity score. This one is the PUMP performance measurement maturity score. As with any model, they are always under development until they converge uh, into a version, I guess, that remains stable under further testing. Now, this model hasn't quite converged just yet, but it sure has evolved over the last 20 years or so that I've been thinking about performance measurement maturity. The pump performance measurement maturity score is based on a 31 criteria version of what we call the pump diagnostic, which we normally use to engage teams early in their journey of performance measurement. And this score is aligned to 10 levels of the maturity model. Now this model has rigor to it, unlike uh, trivial surveys that just ask people what their opinions are about organisational um, approaches to measurement. Um, perceptions are not accurate assessments of KPI maturity. We need to base a maturity score on observable evidence of practice. So we're going to walk through each of the 10 levels of performance measurement maturity and then you should download the PUMP Performance Measurement Maturity Score spreadsheet uh, to calculate this for your team or for your whole organisation. Now the link to this is in the description below this video, but you won't need it just yet. We're starting at the bottom of the maturity model where you don't really want to stay, and then we're going to move our way up to the top where you ultimately want to aspire to be. Level one of the PUMP Performance Measurement Maturity Model is called Random. Now the focus of level one uh, is to be deliberate, not ad hoc. If an organization has not overtly considered their approach to performance measurement, what gets measured and how it gets measured is completely ad hoc. Becoming consciously aware that measurement needs a deliberate approach is the only foundation that measurement maturity can be built upon. An important key to success here is this, when deciding to use performance measurement, always make a conscious decision about the approach to use, and PUMP is one example of a deliberate performance measurement approach. Level two of the PUMP performance measurement maturity model is called control. Now the focus of level two is learning, not judging. When the purpose of performance measurement is control and judgment of people, it generates fear and dysfunctional behavior. But when people see measurement more as a tool to help them learn how to improve performance and, and not as a rod for their backs, the foundation of a true performance culture just starts forming. So an important key to success here is this. When initiating performance measurement, always set the purpose as continual improvement of processes and not as judgment of people's performance. Level three of the PUMP performance measurement maturity model is called results. Now the focus of level three is write goals clearly, not weaselly. Most goals are articulated in vague language or corporate speak um, known as weasel words and it makes them immeasurable. Before we can find meaningful measures, goals have to be written clearly in language that a fifth grader could understand. An important key to success here is this. 
when writing strategic or operational goals, always use words that a 10 year old can understand because understandable means measurable. Level four of the pump performance measurement maturity model is called evidence. Now the focus of level four is measures, not milestones. Too many measures aren't really good measures at all. They're milestones, activities, trivial counts, or concepts that aren't even quantitative. Good measures are evidence of our goals. They have to be deliberately designed from objective evidence of those goals. Now, important key to success here is this. When creating performance measures, always make sure the quantification is based on direct and observable evidence. Level five of the pump performance measurement maturity model is called ownership. Now the focus of level five is buy-in, not sign-off. When goals are understandable and measured meaningfully, people suddenly see how to contribute to what matters in the organisation. They see that performance measurement's purpose is continuous improvement of processes and ownership of measures is so much easier. Now an important key to success here is this. When selecting performance measures, always put the decisions in the hands of the people who own and use those measures to improve their processes. Level six of the pump performance measurement maturity model is called truth. Now the focus of level six is details then dashboards. So ownership of meaningful measures to improve processes creates a desire for those measures to be accurate, to tell the truth about performance and more people feel confident to improve the details of implementation of their measures from data definition to measure calculation. So an important key to success here is this, when implementing performance measures, always prioritize the right data and the right calculations before building those pretty dashboards. Level seven of the pump performance measurement maturity model is called knowledge. Now the focus of level seven is signals, not noise. Truthful performance measures, they show us how performance is changing through signals of statistical change over time. People are no longer distracted then by comparisons between individual measure values. It's the true signals of change that give the knowledge about performance. So an important key to success here is this, when analyzing performance measures, always use statistical rigor to reveal the true signals of what performance is doing. Level eight of the pump performance measurement maturity model is called insight. Now the focus of level eight is feedback, not failure. People use measures the way scientists use them to test the results of experiments to improve performance. There is no failure if there is learning. Information that leads to learning is insight because it is perceived as constructive feedback that guides action. Now an important key to success here is this, when reporting performance, no matter the medium or the method, always make sure the insights lead to learning and action. Level nine of the pump performance measurement maturity model is called leverage. Now, the focus of level nine is causes, not symptoms. Performance measures trigger investigation into what works and what doesn't work in the continual quest for improved performance. And at the base of this is the search for the root causes that offer the highest leverage for performance improvement effort. So a very important key to success here is this when executing strategy and change initiatives, always treat the root cause, not the symptoms um, of you know, not good enough performance. Level 10 of the performance measurement maturity model is called excellence. Now the focus of level 10 is reflection, not routine. Mastery of performance measurement is more than just routine um, use of a deliberate approach to measure for continuous improvement. It also requires reflection to evolve and redeploy that deliberate approach to sustain organisational excellence. An important key to success here is that in your approach to performance measurement, always make sure it leads to a high return on investment 
in all improvements that you try to make. Now, are you ready to find out your score? Well, here's how to do that. Step one is to download the Pump Performance Measurement Maturity spreadsheet. And there is a link in the description below this video for getting it. Step two is either alone or ideally with some colleagues, work through the 31 criteria to rate your organization or team. And it should be clear where to record your ratings uh, in that spreadsheet that you downloaded. Step three is go to the maturity score worksheet to see your score and what it means. And step four is optional and it's to email your spreadsheet to me along with any reactions or questions that you have. I'll personally respond if you're one of the first 25 people who email me the score. Uh, email at info at stacybar.com. And all the spreadsheets and reactions that are sent to me, they help improve this tool for, for your future use and everyone else's. And using this tool will help you improve your organization's approach to performance measurement and the value that you can get from it. Now, if you do go ahead and calculate your organization's performance measurement maturity score, have a think, what would you do with that score? And if you've already calculated it, what surprised you about it? I'd love to hear either in the comments below.